coming onto the yoga mats and let's begin this evening's class. Bolster right in behind the buttocks, giving us that extension as we lower down onto the bolster, towels, cushions, whatever you've got handy. Extra prop under the back of the head if you need it, tucking that chin down. Legs out long, heels in line with the front of the hip bones, a little wider if you prefer, and just let the legs and feet relax and drop. Arms out comfortably wide. Turn the palms up, gesture of openness and receiving. With the arms out comfortably wide, underarm region open. Again, just making sure the chin tucks down, back of neck is comfortable. And then feeling your front body lifted and open. And just allow yourself these few moments to retreat inwards. As we come onto our yoga mat, perhaps that's a retreat. We give ourselves these few moments, our time, dedicated to our well being, letting go of our normal everyday self that's thinking perhaps forwards and backwards, meandering, coming to a presence of being with breath, being in the moment, and we be connected in this moment. So when you're ready, feeling this retreat inward into the self, breath awareness, body awareness, present moment awareness. Make those last minute adjustments you feel necessary. And once you've made those last minute adjustments, awareness to the rise and fall of the abdominal region. Breath flow gently, the focus on the movement of breath in and out. Just let yourself connect to the breath. Notice, can you stay connected to it or is the mind already wanting to wander away? Like any other muscle we train, whether we're stretching or strengthening, focus with the breath. And as soon as the mind wanders away, bring it back. if you're tensing anywhere as you try to stay present moment. Facial muscles relaxing. Neck, throat, shoulders relaxing. Body, legs, feet, arms and hands. Everything soft. Notice the quality of your breath. Notice the energy as you rest. Is there dullness, heaviness, lethargy? Is there a shakiness? Eyes shaking even though the eyes are closed, eyelids fluttering? Is there any shakiness through the body as you rest? Nervous system overworked, still trying to rest down. If you have too much sugar or coffee in the system, it's like that shakiness. Is there lightness? Is there spaciousness? A presence of being in the moment. What's here for you? Already, could you start to let the breath lengthen and deepen? So each time we breathe in, we gradually bring a little more breath into the body, the breath out softening. Breathing in, can we feel expansion and opening? Exhale, softening. Continuing in this way.
tree to begin with, connection to that breath. And as you stay connected to breath, start to move the body with it, point the toes in the house, flex the feet, exhale. Breathing in, we're pointing the toes, breathing out, we're flexing the feet. Try to slow the breaths, continue lengthening and deepening. If there's that space in the body, open it up. Next time you breathe in, point the toes and drop the big toes in to touch. And then as we breathe out, feet roll out. And then breathe in, toes roll in, touch together. Breathing out, feet rolling out. Full circles in time with your breath. Next time the toes meet together, keep them together, deeper breath all the way up through the body. Keep sipping that breath in, can we get the chest to lift, scoop the belly out, chin tucks down, hold in for as long as you can. And then sigh the breath out, feet drop out, surrender. Breathe in, toes roll in in the opposite direction, breathe out, rolling out. Twice more round in this opposite direction. Last rotation around for you. Bring the toes all the way back into reconnect. Touch together and deeper breath all the way up through the body. Keep sipping the breath in, chest lifting, chin tucking, scoop the belly out. Hold for as long as you can. And then we sigh the breath out, feet drop out, surrender completely. Once we release, bend the legs up, soles of feet together and knees drop away. Once you're there, let the legs really be heavy, let them drop. And if there's a shakiness there, stack blocks or cushions under the each side of leg, body, hip. Support the legs to let them relax, to drop, so the hips can open, legs can lengthen. Then sweep the arms back when you're ready. Reach for elbows, if that's difficult, further towards wrists, cup hands or long arms. Now breathe in again, stretch the body, create length, create openness. And then exhale, soften. Inhale, stretch, elongate. And exhale, soften. Continue in this way. Last exhalation for you, hold the breath out, change the grip on your elbows to the unnatural side, so holding out, change the grip, and then when you're ready to breathe in, slow deep breaths in, pause at the end of the breath, slow breath out, and pause at the end of that breath. Continue in this way, slow breaths in and out, subtle gaps at the end of each breath. breath steady and calm. Try to balance inhales and exhales to the same count. If you feel you're already at 
at full capacity, then just maintain that leg. Stay with the breath, not forcing, no gushing, pushing or pulling of breath. Steady and calm. the subtle gaps would you like to lengthen the gap out a little bit this evening make it a little bit longer you could make the gap half the length of the actual breath if you wish to resting into those gaps next breath occurs when you're ready if it all feels like it's getting strained then bring it back a little bit reduce the counts if you're breathing in eight and holding four drop it back six three four two exhalation for you make it the last one make it a never-ending exhalation keep breathing out for as long as you can so when you get to it continue the breath out even if you think you've got all the breath out so you can get a little more breath out then holding out if there's anything left when you are ready to breathe in then let the arms stretch out long and feel how the body really sucks that next breath in it wants the oxygen back into the system and then sweep the arms down around beside you. Give yourself a moment, surrender and soften in your time. Readjust the legs if they're sore, come down off the bolster slightly if there's aggravation in lumbar curvature. Make sure that you're comfortable, a few moments surrender when you're ready. Just let yourself return back to natural breath. Notice do you feel lung capacity or the ribs opened anywhere for you. Any more space, any more lightness within. Over the bolster, the front body's being opened, the inside edges of the body open. When you're coming off the bolster, any back issues, roll to your right, slide the elbows back if it's easy and roll straight up. And then roll into a ball. Let the feet slide out in front. Long diamond shape with the legs. But then let the body roll into flexion. Counter pose in being an extension. And ease over in. Tuck the chin in. Protect the neck even more if you need to. Prop the hands. Support the forehead if you need. Coming through if you've got a pulling at the lower back. to say great iliacs. Then don't go so deep. Ease back a little, get more stretch through the entire length of the back. Broaden and lengthen. Can we slow the breaths into the broadening, the opening through the back body? Again, protecting the neck and lower back, the most vulnerable parts of the spine. They're the most areas that move the most. Thoracic gets locked, that's where we're trying to open.
Let the hips gently rock side to side, mobilize the neck. If any particular side of the neck is sore, hold on to that one side or gently keep moving. And when you're ready, just simply bring the head back to center. And again, is there any softening, any deepening, any more surrendering in, retreating inward? Notice how we've turned away from the outside world, we turn in on ourselves, we focus in. Quiet in the mind within, if possible. And exhale fully, squeeze the last breath out. Roll up on the inhale, vertebra by vertebra. Hold around those knees or shins as you pull up taller. Resistance on the arms, neck long, spine long. Right ear tilts down, left ear up, keep breathing. Chin in, ribs in. And then inhale, center, second side, left ear down, right ear up. Pulling against the arms, resisting for the stretch. And inhale, center, bring the chin around to the right, tuck it down and in, feel the twist and the stretch on the neck. Make sure it's breathable, we don't force the neck, we're gentle with the stretching. And then exhale, slowly roll the chin down to center chest. Keep the chin tucked in and up all the way. Chin in and up to notch your throat. And then inhale, lift the head to neutral. Around to the left, tuck the chin down towards shoulder, shoulder collarbone. Again, keeping the chin in and up though, side neck long, back of neck long. And slowly roll the chin down to centre chest. Chin in and up to notch your throat. Then inhale, lift the head to neutral. The face around to the right, the arms around. Twist, look back. Chest back, shoulder back, looking back to where we can. Last exhale for you, the thumb and lower belly. Squeeze the breath out. Face forward, inhale, centering and all the way around to the left. Shoulders, chest back, looking back. And exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Face forward, body follows all the way around to the right again. Shoulder, chest back, looking back. That back hand's there to support us. Make sure you stay upright, not falling back. And then exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Face forward, body follows all the way to the left. And then shoulders and chest around. Exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Face forward, body follows. Bring those legs up, slide the bone. Give them a shake out, give them a rub down. Roll shoulders, mobilize the neck. Move whatever part of the body you feel you need to. What joints are stiff, where do you feel you need to mobilize? And then when you're ready, prop the buttocks up on the edge of the bolster. Soles of feet together, let the knees drop away. <clears throat> right hand off to the side, left arm wide. Bring the arm up and reach across. Press the feet together, work the knees down. Now push away from the right hand, work those left ribs out. Open into them. 
Slow the breaths into that left side body. Right side being compressed, left side opening. Exhale fully, top arm sweeps down, left arm wide, right arm up and over, and stretch long. Make sure the front ribs are in, you're not leaning back, and then push away from that left hand, opening out that right side, from the hip, the waist, the ribs, shoulder through the fingertips, elongate. Exhale, the arm sweeps down. Twist around to your right again. Try and get this chest mobilizing. Shoulder back, looking back. Careful with the neck. And then exhale fully. Squeeze the last breath out. Face forward when you're ready. Body follows all the way to the left. Shoulders, chest around, looking back. Exhale fully, squeeze the last breath out. Face forward, body follows. Assist those legs to come up. Once you've got the knees bent up, left leg out long, left arm wrap around the right leg, right hand behind you. Take the left arm up if it's easy, lean to the right, arm outside into the knee, and then arm and leg press against each other. Rotate shoulder, chest back, looking back, arm and leg press against each other or wrapping. Get as much rotation as you can feel through the body. Try getting close on this leg. Get the body as close to the thigh as you can. And then exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Face forward, body follows. Unwind and then second side. Right leg out long, left leg bent in. Right arm wrap, left hand behind. If that's easy on the twist, right arm up. Lean to the left, arm outside edge of the leg, and arm and leg press against each other. Again, getting as close as you can to this left leg, chest and leg are close together. Trying to get the full exhalation, squeezing the breath out. And then exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Face forward, body follows. Bend the legs up, whether you can flip the right foot all the way back, lift the pelvis up off the bolster, or your windscreen wiper. Just lean the legs to the left, grab the right ankle and pull the leg back as much as you can. So we want this right hip and quad opening into the stretch to where we can. If it's easy and it's able, straight up, opening to the depth that you can tonight. Breathe into these feelings. Try to stay in the present of being in the stretch. Releasing from other thoughts, being present on the yoga mat. We lift up to that tabletop from wherever you're at, lift the pelvis up, bring the body up, find the strength, push through hands and feet. Lower the pelvis down, second side, left foot flips back, or knees windscreen wiper across to your right, grab that left ankle foot and pull it back. Again, opening up the degree of stretch, tailbone tucking, left hip quad, where's the stretch? Lengthen and open into it where you can. And 
Open up to that tabletop position again. Bring the knees up. Lift the buttocks up off the equipment. Try and get the front body lifting up. Tuck the chin. Tailbone long towards the knees. The buttocks come down, long legs, bring them out in front, give them a rub down, give them a shake out, roll shoulders, mobilize the neck, wrist, whatever it was from weight bearing. Then bend those legs up as much as you need and reach forward for your toes. If you're not reaching the toes, grab the ankles or shins, pull your chest up long, relax the shoulders down. Tuck the chin in, back of neck long. Slow the breaths in and out. When you're ready, take the right arm back behind you. Look to it, it's above the shoulder. Stretch it back. Sweep it up to the ceiling like a swimming stroke and down towards the foot. Then left arm, take it back, rotate, look to it, stretch it up to the ceiling and onto the foot. Again, right arm, take it back, rotate chest, shoulder up to the ceiling and onto the foot. Left arm, take it back, look to it, up to the ceiling and onto the foot. One more each arm, breathe in, rotate back, exhale up to the ceiling, onto the foot. Left arm, take it back. Up to the ceiling, onto the foot. Notice, can you get any closer onto those legs? Keeping the chest long, waist long, chin in, neck long. Shoulder blades down the back. Where's the length? Where's some opening in this stretch for you? And then let yourself slump. Let go of the feet, let the feet and legs drop. Palms turn up, tuck the chin in. Surrender completely. If it's too intense, there's pulling, the neurotension is too much, ease out a bit. Roll up and down a few times or stay steady and just surrender completely. Protect where you need to. As we retreat, as we surrender, protect the body where you need to. And slow your breath. Again, noticing we turn away from the outer world, we retreat in. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere, can you let go? And give ourselves permission to let go. If you're holding on, can we let go? Press the heels down, full exhalation. Roll the back up, vertebra by vertebra. Nice and slow, coming all the way up to stillness. Give yourself a moment. Let the spine come back to its neutral position. Just be still once you come to this position now. Notice the shoulders, can you let them drop down the back? Feeling as if you're being lifted gently. Are there natural curves through the body? Is there a lightness, a lift within? Let's just see how our shoulder mobility is. When you're ready, turn both palms up in front of you. As if you're holding a cup of tea or a ball in each hand. We're going to take them out wide to each side. Circle them about, up above us. Flip them around, so bring them around as if they circle in underneath the underarms. We're going to keep holding that cup of tea up or the balls up, not letting them drop in their back out in front of us. So we lift them up, the fingers turn out, they circle around up above the head, not dropping that ball or cup of tea. Rotate them around. Can we bring them back around? They come in underneath the underarm and then back out in front. 
Again, up in front of the head, out to the side. Circle around like you're holding a ball in each hand. Rotating, bring them around in underneath the arms and circle back out in front. See how it feels? You can just keep that flowing movement, circling it around. If you can see me, if you're watching the screen, can you circle them around? So up to the sides, around. You're not allowed to drop the ball or cup of tea on your head. Keep circling it around in underneath the arms and back up in front. So a few more, holding onto those balls as if they're not allowed to drop or cups of tea. Bring them around, rotation. So it's the wrist, elbows, shoulders, mobilizing a few more. Notice if one shoulder or one joint just doesn't like the rotation, the movement. Let's see if we can do a couple more. And then one more, wherever you're up to. And just let the hands come back to rest in the lap. Let the shoulders drop down, notice how they feel. Try to feel the spine being lifted tall. Take a few moments, just centering. When you're ready, we're coming through into hands and knees, into cat and cow. Bend the legs up, lift the buttocks off the equipment, just push it all off to the side. Come through on the hands and knees, best way you can get there. Shoulders above wrists, hips above knees. Push those foundations through the floor, press tops of feet down. Feel the spines and the curvatures of the spine in neutral. And then inhale, we dip the lower back. Pull the chest through, look up, tuck the tailbone, roll the spine, look in towards the navel. Through cat and cow, mobilizing, inhale as we dip, chest pulling through, looking up, and exhale as we roll, looking into the navel. Your timing, your breath. Remember if you're frowning when you look up, look down tip of nose and stare. And one more in your time. Stay looking at the navel once you get there. Push the hands down. As they push down, broaden across the back. Chin in. Keep breathing into the upper back, broadening, opening. Last, last exhale, lift the navel to the spine. And then when you're ready to breathe in, take the buttocks all the way back to the heels. Elbows, forehead, surrender to the mat. Arms can come back beside the feet or stack the hands to rest the forehead if the forehead doesn't easily reach the mat. Let the shoulders soften, let the spine lengthen. Again, retreating in here for a few moments, connect to the breath. Can we deepen the breath through the back body, notice the feeling. Press down through the shins, roll the back up, inhaling, vertebra by vertebra. Chin tucked all the way, head will come up last. When you're ready, full shoulder rotations, inhale upward motion, exhale downward motion. Mobilize the body with it as well, mobilizing the full body or just the shoulders, your choice. Opposite direction in your time.
And let the shoulders relax down, the spine lifting. A slow, steady breath in. A slow, steady breath out. A couple more. Exhale, fully open the eyes, wide arms sweep up, look up if it's easy on the neck. Hands forward onto the mat, shoulder distance and slide long. Look up through the hands, glide the chest through cobra, push down, keep those shoulders to your back, feet press down, arch through to where you can. Lower the body down, lift the legs up and lay chest and legs to same height. Keep breathing. You lower the legs down, arch the chest through again, open up. And then down the facing dog, take the buttocks up, stretch back long. Wall the legs out on the spot, bend and straighten. Hips side to side, shoulders, neck, mobilize your down dog. And then when you're all ready, find the stillness in it. Shoulders broadening across the back. Chin in and up, neck in line with the rest of the spine. Push away from the hands, feel the buttocks press back long. Stretch down through the backs of the legs, heels pressing long. And then slow the breaths in and out. Inhale, take the right leg straight up, keep the hips square. Knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, push the floor away, broaden that upper back, strengthen. Then right foot steps through, left knee coming down. Wide arms and up, reaching up. Hands onto the hips, exhale and balance up. Push away from the front foot. Left knee, left thigh dragging through. Looking up, forward or down, your choice. And take the arms up, reach up. Bring them down, each side of the front foot, up onto the fingertips, round the upper back, chin in. We want the forehead on top of the right knee as close as we can get. Broaden the back and keep breathing. Inhale, take the arms up again, reach up, stretch up. Wide arms down behind the back, easy clasp. Pull them away from the back, pull them low and long. We want the shoulder heads back, shoulder blades down. Front ribs in, make sure you're not collapsing in your middle lower back. Keep some core working, legs working as you press the palms together, down long. Open the upper chest, breathe into that feeling. Looking up, forward or down, pinning your neck. Then reach the arms up again, stretching up. Widen down each side of the front foot again, up on the fingertips, chin in. Broaden, does the back feel more open? Breathe across the upper back, open into it as much as you can. Left hand flat, make sure the wrist is stuck below the shoulder. Tuck the toes, lift off the back knee. Right arm up, twist up, look up to it. Keep breathing. If the twist is easy, long arm beside the ear. If it's not so easy, arm straight up. Slow the breaths, push through both feet. And then exhale, circle the right arm down, step forward, front of mat, feet hip distance. Hold on to the elbows and surrender into your forward fold. Bend the legs, ribs on thighs. Tuck the chin in, elongate the back of the neck. Let gravity pull those arms down long. Feel it pulling them down towards the yoga mat. 
And you can start to straighten and bend the legs. You can swing the body, swing the hips, mobilize the stretch if you wish to, or be stationary on the legs, whatever feels best for you. Come back to being still and centered on the front of the legs. Let the arms drop. Wide arms come up to stand. Clasp the hands, turn the palms up. Arch the chest up, open up and keep breathing. Slow the breaths all the way through the front body. And then bring the spine to neutral. And then feel the difference, neutral posture. Focus the eyes and lift your heels off the mat. You've got three breaths. Feedback, the proprioception, can we balance? And then lower the heels down, lean the arms to the right, hips to the left. Now breathe out through that left side rib cage as much as you can, opening up. Inhale, center, and then second side. Arms left, hips right. Now breathe up through that right side of rib cage, open it up. Inhale up to center, arch up, stretch up. Wide arms are down. Let backs and hands drop beside the feet and really just let the body surrender in. Bend the legs more if you need to. Ribs on thighs, head heavy. Pull the chest forward, extend the spine, hands in front. Bring the left leg up behind you. We're standing on the right foot. Can the right arm come wide? Left arm wide, can we balance? Pull the spine, tailbone to crown of head, one line of energy. Feel the stability on this right leg balancing. Hands come down, step the left leg long. Can we be in a high lunge on this right leg? Push from the feet using the foundations, bring the arms up. Hands onto the hips when you're ready. Could you straighten both legs up for a moment and then both legs bend to where you can. Again, straighten up through both legs. And then exhale, bend both to where you can. Straighten up, exhale, bend both. Hover the back knee just off the mat. Tuck the tailbone. We try to pull this left thigh quad forward. Arms up if it's easy. Three more breaths, tailbone tucking. Slow the breath. And then last breath for you, hands down, push back and step it back to your downward facing dog. Take a moment in the stretch, shoulders broadening across your upper back. Arms active, palms pressing, fingertips, thumb tips pressing. Press the buttocks away, stretch them out long. Press the heels down, press the feet down, feel the leg muscles engaging. Then slow the breaths in and out. Exhale fully, come down onto the knees, gentle dip of the spine, look up. Big toes touch, take the knees out wide to the edge of the mat. Take the buttocks all the way back to the heels, chest and chin or chest and forehead to the mat. Your shoulders are tight and pinching, elbows come back wider, but surrender. And let chest and chin drop.
exhale, fully lift the navel, head and chest come up. Walk the hands across to your right, left hand over or left arm longer. Make sure you keep that left buttock hip long, waist long, ribs, keep the shoulder down. Breathe along that left side body, elongate. Exhale fully, navel lifts, then inhale, head and chest up. Second side, hands across to your left, right hand over or right arm longer. Keep the right body and hip anchored back, the waist long, the ribs, the shoulder, underarm. Keep it down away from the ear, the shoulder. Breathe along your right side body, lengthening, opening. Exhale fully, navel lifts, inhale, head and chest up. Come back to being centered and coming through along the mat again. Can we get this thoracic rib cage to try and drop? Can we get that spine to drop in, extending? Notice where it is. Then we're gonna press the shins down through the mat. Exhale, lift the navel to the spine. Drag or walk the arms in. Try and round your back as you bring it up. Roll it through that flexed position as if we're retreating back into ourselves as we roll up. Once you're all the way up, adjust those knees in together, kneeling at the back end of the mat. Eyes can stay closed. Take a moment feeling where your posture is. Right fingertips long and tilt your head away to the left. Any tension down this right side, neck, shoulder, arm. Slow the breaths. And the right arm comes across in front of the body, left arm in front of that. Full forearm wrap if it's easy. Otherwise keep the right arm long, shoulder down. Round the back broad, arms push against each other, resisting. Slow the breaths, chin tucked, elongate, back of neck, back of body, broaden and open. The arms unravel, let the spine roll up to neutral. Give yourself a moment. When you're ready, left fingertips long and tilt the head away to the right. Feel the stretch down that left side, neck, shoulder, arm. Can we breathe into that feeling? Exhale fully, left arm across in front of the body, right arm in front of that. Full forearm wrap if it's easy. Round the back out, chin in, arms resist pushing against each other. Continue breathing into this stretch. Exhale, let the arms unravel, roll the spine up to neutral. Take a moment, realign the posture, rebalance, subtle adjustments where you feel. So if you're used to being on the board, you're paddling, pull the front ribs down. If the chin is jutting, bring it down and in, back of neck long. Feel where this alignment is for you. Open the eyes, wide arms and up, touch the hands, bring the arms wide, cactus hands, arms or stop signs out to the side so elbows bent. Then bring the arms around in front, round the back, as if elbows and little finger side of hand come together. Then let the hands cup over the back of the head, 
Now see, you're being held under. You're trying to push your head back into the hands. As if you want to lift your head back. You're not pushing down on the hands. You're lifting the head up. That's the difference. Not forcing down the hands, but pushing the head back into the hands. Notice how that feels for you. Keep breathing into the feeling. Keep a chin into neck. Then just let the arms release and then bring the head all the way up to neutral. Spine neutral, head neutral, wide arms and up. Look up for a moment, jut the bottom jawline out in front of you as far as you can. Is there any tension on the neck? Bring it back in, head neutral, hands to the yoga mat, shoulder distance and slide them long. Lift the head and chest, look up through the hands. Glide the body through, cobra up dog, keep those shoulders sealed back, lift through and open up. Tops the feet press, shoulder blades sealing down. We lower the chest down, can we lift the legs off the mat, and then chest and legs to same height. Keep breathing. We lower the legs down, arch the chest through again, open up. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up and stretch back long. Walk it out on the spot if you wish to, mobilizing through your posture or holding static. Come to the stillness when you're ready to. Make those sudden adjustments through your posture, lengthening, engaging. So if your back is really hunched and rounded, bend the legs a little more and try and get more extension through the spine. If you're really mobile and you drop all the way into the floor, lift your body away from the mat, away from the thighs, and bring some strength, some more stability through the body. A few more breaths. Inhale, left leg goes straight up, hips squared. Knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, push away from the floor, find that strength. Left foot steps through, right knee coming down. Arms come up, reaching up. Then hands onto the hips and balance them off. Push back from left foot, right knee, right thigh, dragging through. Find the balance in it. Hips and pelvis balance as much as we can. Then the arms go up, look up, forward or down, pending the neck. Reaching up, wide arms are down, each side of the front foot, up under fingertips, tuck the chin in, broaden, try and touch forehead to the top of the thigh, knee. All the way up wide to the ceiling again, reach up, touch. Wider down behind the back, unnatural clasp, other little finger outer edge if you can. Pull them long, pull them down away from you. Shoulder heads back, shoulder blades down. Front ribs in, make sure you're not just collapsing out in the core, keep it holding and supporting you. Lift and open the gaze where you can. Reach up again, stretching up. Again, wide arms are down onto the fingertips, each side of this front foot. Shoulders broad, spine long. Chin tucks in. Where's the forehead? Is it on top of that left knee thigh? Right hand flat. Make sure the wrist steps below the shoulder. Tuck the toes, lift off the back knee, left arm up, twisted lunge. If you're easy in the twist, long arm beside the ear. Otherwise, arm up to the ceiling, rotate face up, chest up, dristy up. Slow the breaths to where you can. The arm circles down as many steps as you need, coming to the front of the mat. Hold the back of the ankles, bend the legs as much as you need, ribs on thighs. Tuck the chin in and up to notch your throat, creating length on the back of the neck. 
Then slide the hands up under the calf muscles. Bend the legs more, round the back out behind you. Forehead to kneecap height now. So now the back is rounding and broadening. Keep breathing. Slide all the way back down the legs, full exhalation and notice the difference in the stretch as you come deeper on those legs again. Engage the legs by pushing the feet down, switch on, wide arms coming up. Clasp the hands, unnatural clasp, so again, other little finger out edge, turn the palms up, open up and again stretch through your front body. So remember, we're not compressing lumbar spine or neck. We're opening the front body. Notice if you can feel the difference, protecting where you need to. Next exhale, simply let the arms release beside you. Stand tall, mountain pose, Navasana. Tadasana, oh gosh. Tadasana, mountain pose, keep breathing. Slow breaths in and out. Make subtle adjustments through your alignment. Try to unlock if you feel you're locking or dropping. Try to lift. And then external rotation. So turn your palms out. Feel the shoulders rotate. Try not to pop the chest to get the shoulder rotation. Just keep the palms turned out. Fingers long. Then open the eyes, wide arms sweep up, look up if it's easy. Arms wide to the mat, let backs of hands drop beside the feet. Head heavy, shoulders heavy. Bend those legs, ribs on thighs, get the connection where you need and protect your back. Slow the breath. Pull the chest forward, extend the spine, hands in front for the balance. Right leg lifts behind you, we're standing on our left leg. Left arm wide, right arm wide, can we come up and balance? Tailbone to crown of head, one line of energy. The hands come down, step that right leg out long, be on the ball of the foot, use your leg strength, can you push away? Reach the arms up, stretch up, and then hands under hips. Now straighten both legs up for a moment. Now bend them back to both down to where you can, hover the knee off the mat. Straighten up through the legs, inhale. Bend to where you can, exhale. Straighten up again, inhale. Exhale, bend, hover the back knee off the mat. Tailbone tucking. Arms up if you can, you've got three breaths. Really try and drive this right hip and thigh forward. And then third exhale for you, wide arms and down, push away from that left foot, step it all the way back to your down dog. Shoulders broad across your upper back. Start to walk the feet out longer to a plank behind you. Knees down if you're dropping. Down onto your forearms and just holding the forearm plank. Knees on the mat if you need to. Try not to drive any pressure up through the neck and shoulders. Find the body strong through the core body as we hold forearm plank. When you're ready to release, bring the pelvis down, front legs down. You're in your sphinx, elbows below shoulders or a little in front. And then feel the forearms are pulling back towards you. Chest projecting long. Tops of feet can be pressing. Slow the breaths. Just let the spine drop into its easy curve here. Try not to force it, but if you're not comfortable with it, front lower ribs lift or tailbone tuck a little bit. Notice the feeling for you.
Exhale, ease the body down, stack the hands one on top of each other, rest the forehead on the back of the top hand, tuck the chin in and up, close the eyes, be still. If this isn't comfortable for you, stack the head higher, put a bolster under the chest if you need to and lay, lay over it wherever you can be to finish resting here. Chin in and up, make sure the back of neck is long. Let the whole front body soften into the yoga mat. And really just let your back body drop through into the front body, completely surrendering. Feel this letting go. The belly be soft. If you're ready to slow the breath, let's bring some slower, deeper breaths in and out to where you can. You try and bring those breaths slower and deeper. Where do you feel the movement of breath occurring? Try not to force it, but just try to slow and deepen the breath as much as you can as you let the whole body surrender. If you're tensing anywhere, scan, notice. If it's the neck, readjust. Shoulders, chest. Let the breath surrender to its natural rhythm. Just give yourself this moment, let go. Completely letting go. Ready to just gently lift your head off the top hand, bring the hands in next to your chest, come back to child pose, bring the buttocks all the way back to the heels, stack the hands or arms back beside the feet, rolling into a ball, tuck the chin in and on, just give yourself a moment, retreating inwards, softening completely.
and the ready hands beside the knees helps you to roll up. Just gently and slowly roll the back up, vertebra, back vertebra. Especially after having the forehead resting, it really rests the nervous system down. So notice as you start to come up, be gentle, don't rush it. As slow as you're comfortable to do. Keep the eyes closed if you can and come through easy cross legs seated. Whatever's easy for you. Prop the hips up if you're falling away. Thumb and first finger connect, palms turn up. Notice as you sit tall, what does it feel like? After finishing resting on the front body, what does it feel like now to be upright? Give yourself a moment. Keep retreating in, notice feeling. What's for you in this moment? Right here, right now. Next inhale, let the arms sweep wide and off. Connect the hands together and touch to the forehead. As we move through life, we move through life with thoughtfulness. Touch the hands to the lips. As we move through life, we have kind words. Bring the hands to the heart. As we move through life, we have compassion and we have kindness. Namaste. Follow the body, stretch long, surrender forward. Be still or rock it out, your choice. When you're ready, rolling up and finishing in your time.